Hey, it's Scotty. What is a nebulizer? Well, I'm going to talk about what a nebulizer is and how we use it specifically for guinea pigs and how we use it at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. So a nebulizer is a device, a medical device that allows you to turn medication into a vapor so that it can be inhaled directly into the lungs instead of taken orally or by injection. So this is appropriate for respiratory diseases or disorders such as asthma, cystic fibrosis, COPD. Uh, at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, we tend to use it for uh, really bad URIs uh, and pneumonia. A nebulizer consists of a compressor. That's what this white box thing here is. It's just an air compressor, a series of tubing and uh, a cup. And this cup is what holds the medication and then also a saline solution, which dilutes the medication to the appropriate amount and allows it to be vaporized. So the way we use it with guinea pigs is we take a bin like this, we put a lid on it, and we connect the cup to this thing, allowing the vapor to go into this area where the guinea pig will sit. A mixture of saline solution and medication is put in here, and then it is covered. Stop, it's not for you. No, it's not for you, it's for Molly. So Molly's gotta use the nebulizer so she gets treats while she sits in this bin. The tubing is the same on both ends and it's connected to the cup. The medication, you've gotta use this with medication and the medication has been measured and put in this cup. Then you can see it just screws on and it's been connected into here through this T mouthpiece and this back part has been covered so that the air only goes through the compressor and not from here. To be clear, this nebulizer attachment was something I got extra, uh, but using the pieces that you have in the box, you could probably connect it just fine to the tub. So you put the lid on and I'm only going to close one side and leave the other side cracked for the air to flow because you want a nice air exchange. Then just turn it on and mist will come out. You can see that mist is coming out. And at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, we set the timer for 15 minutes. The nebulizer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue had holes drilled in here. Um, I don't think it matters if the holes are drilled in there and you seal it tightly, or if you just leave the lid loose. Remember, air is going into the container from this compressor and being mixed with this vapor. So there's no chance that, you know, they're going to run out of air. So it's just to keep the medicine in there as densely as we can. So 15 minutes, I have this tub on top of a little container of bedding because as you can see, this setup is shallow. You could probably use a higher bin and not have to worry about this, but I built this with the same bin and same specifications that we have at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. So there you go. We got to wait 15 minutes. So that's it. She's had her treatment. It's been 15 minutes. She ate all those carrots and a lot of that parsley. Incidentally, I heard that parsley helps remove fluid in the lungs and it's obviously just a, a great leafy green 
that we recommend for piggies, regardless of their health conditions. I asked the volunteer group at the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue, and they said there's no reason why right after a treatment you might hear uh, the breathing sounds may be louder, but it seems to be the case that when she's quiet, right after the treatment, she's a little bit wheezy right after. So check the description for more information about nebulizers. Uh, I'll put some medical links and I'll also put links to this nebulizer or a comparable nebulizer that you can order online. Molly. So check out my common illness playlist right here and get to know some of the different common guinea pig illnesses, how to spot them and how to treat them so that if you see any of these signs or symptoms, you'll know what to do and it will help your piggy give them a better chance of a full recovery.